Good evening, good evening. Once again, this is Will Harvey. This is Will, the realtor. This is your realtor's favorite realtor. Where today we're talking about appraisals, um, inspections, and why they're important and who ordered them. So let's start with the inspections. We all know that when we put in a contract, it's imperative that we have our client do a inspection. We do an inspection. And when we do an inspection, we need to make sure that we're getting a due diligence for us purchasing the house. Um, so when we do an inspection, the, the purpose of the inspection is to make sure the house is sound, that it's sturdy, and there's no life safety issues that is going to arise or pro give our client any harm or danger whatsoever. Now, there are some agents that when they get an inspection, they want everything done. That's not realistic. What they need to do is what is the most hot items? What are the big ticket items? That's the ones they need to address. That's the ones they need to talk about. And that's the ones they need to get prepared. With that being said, I will suggest that when you do an inspection, pick the life safety issues and the big ticket items like the AC unit, the boiler, or the hot water heater, the roof, foundation issues, electrical issues, plumbing issues, majors like that. But cosmetically, I wouldn't nickel and dime or be very petty when it comes to those small items when you're dealing with a client. But the big ticket items, I would say do it all, all the time. Who pays for this? Person who pays for this is the buyer. The buyer pays for this, they own the report. There, there are some listing agents and clients that say, hey, I got your Schedule A, I got your amendment, but we still want to see the inspection report. Now, you can show them the inspection report. However, the caveat is that you have to get permission from your client because it's their report. They own it. But if they want the deal to happen and want the stuff to move forward, they have to send it to the to the listing agent and the seller so they can see and dissect the report themselves and finagle what they feel like is deemed important, what they're willing to pay for, and what's it going to take to get it fixed. Excuse me. That's who pays for the inspection report. That all happens during your option period. Everybody know what the option period is. If you don't, that's the period that you do your due diligence where you find out what's important to the house. Um, to you, and you pay a, a, a nominal fee for you to have this gap or this pause or this space in between the contract that you can get out of. It's a, a portal. So it's almost like a bribe. I know a lot of people don't want to say that, but you're basically bribing the seller to buy you some time to get your due diligence done for the house and if it's not up to your standard or if you guys can't come to the agreement, you can get out. So that is what the um, inspection um, is for. Next is the appraisal. Appraisal is important is, no matter what the person has offered for the house, if you have a VA, FHA, and certain conditions with a conditional loan, that it would not go past what it, um, they are valuing the house is. So the person who ordered it is your lender. So that for the buyer, the buyer is paying for the appraisal that the lender can do the due diligence because the lender is not going to give you more than what the house is actually worth. Or if the house, if the, well, the asking for the house is cheaper than what it is appraised for. They always do the lesser of the two. So if the, if the house appraised for if the house is three fifty dollars and the price for two fifty, dollars they're going to give you two fifty. dollars Now, it's up to you and the, and the um, seller to negotiate that or the seller have to accept the house for being at two fifty dollars and sell it to you for two fifty. dollars Now, if it appraised um, and you have $100,000 of equity, instant equity in the home, if it appraised for two fifty, dollars I'm sorry. Now, if the house appraised uh, for three fifty. dollars and the house was only um, on the market for two seventy five. dollars that's when you have the $75,000 instant equity in the home. So appraisal is important. That's another point of contention to negotiate 
um, the price of a home and what a home would cost. Um, I think these are the two major topics that we needed to address today. Who does appraisals? Um, let me verify just to make sure. Bear with me one second. What home is what are home inspection? Who orders it and pays for it? Uh, so we just went over that on appraisal. Who orders it and who pays for it? We just went over that with the lender and different tips. The last thing is tips. The tips I have for you guys is have you a solid team. Have you a solid team of lenders who has a solid team of appraisers? And you want to have a solid team of inspectors that you can communicate. Throughout this whole process, you need someone that you can communicate, communicate, communicate with, that can be transparent, that's readily available, that you can talk to if you have concerns or if you're not understanding something that they have the time and the fortitude to explain to you, break it down, make it in layman's term, or educate you to an extent that you could understand the process that they're trying to take you through for your client to get through their home process. With that being said, that is my spiel for today. Do we have any questions and concerns? Going once, going twice. No, nobody. All right. Well, this is this is this Thursday evening topic with your realtor favorite realtor, Will Harvey. Um, if you guys have no other questions or concerns, yes, this was a short and sweet one, but it was to the point. I would thought it would be more questions or concerns with it, but it's not, which is even better for me. Um, until next time, guys. God bless and good night. Good night. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Good night, everybody.